Um, hello, friends from the Canada. We have a rain very badly in Montreal right now. Usually we have a snow, we have rain, and we have a bed bugs in Canada. Well, too many in Canada. <laughs> there is nothing in, in this country until you <laughs> you end into the um, cemetery. That's it. We want to talk about the camera and photography. When you buy the camera, if your camera they have a lens attached to the body, it's not so much different from the camera. We're going to take the lens off. If it's Canon, why is not so much different? Because the technology today, it made a good lens even with a small camera. Why we like to buy the camera with the lens is going to be separate because we are as a photographer, when we go in the different locations. Sometimes we're going to be do the macro photography close up or the telephoto distance or some technical. We we like to have a different lens, but usually when you have a camera, they have a lens attached to them, like a 25 zoom, 36 zoom, 60 zoom. zoom. They are very good camera. You don't need to buy them high quality camera, because they are a good quality. Camera with a 10 megapixel is best to start it, and you don't have any problem. I'll just give you some information about lens, because the lens is very important, and the camera, when you want to buy a camera, you got to look about the lens, number one. The lens is going to be open and closed to let the light come to the shutter speed. If the lens is open too much, the send is so much light in the camera. Same as the all wheel down. When they get so much water come to the spillway, it's get trouble. You need to control the water. You need to control the light. The control the light is gonna do by the lens. The long as lens is open, it's gonna cause call F1. F was always for one. The bigger lens is open. Because the lens, they cannot be open too large as F number one is hard to make it in the manufacturing. Very expensive lens. It's super expensive, this kind of lens. Probably, I cannot buy those kind of lens. Almost four or $5,000. Then, the manufacturer come to make a smaller opening aperture inside. Uh, Uh, the offer go to the aperture to make sure they have a light as needed, not as too much needed. Okay, the diaphragm is going to get closer as a 1.8, smaller, because the motor need to be installed in the side of the lens. Small, tiny things torn to lens close and uh, open. When the lens is open, the number is small. Remember, it's opposite. The lens is continue the same number, is get a smaller and a smaller, and the number is get bigger. It's get 1.8, it's get 3.5, and it's get, the last one is 16 and 32. The 32 is the tiniest as a possible, the lens is close. They give you just a little bit light. Why they give you a little bit light? Because you go close to the ocean in California, you are, the light is too strong, comes suddenly to your camera. And if you want to have a good picture, your camera decided, go on the 16 or 32 or 20, depending on the camera and lens do you have. For the same reason I told you, the lens is so important on the camera. If you buy the camera for the, dia, uh, for the diaphragm, uh, like a F has started with the 2.8, that's the best lens started. It, those cameras are going to be expensive. But if it's a 2.8 and finished by the uh, 6.5, it can be a very good lens. Usually the camera and the lens is started with a 3.5 and 5.6 or 6. But we have the lens, if it started number 1 to number 16 or 32, those lens is going to be a, like a ten thousand dollar lens. It's very very expensive. It's so important you have a good lens in the good diaphragm to send the enough light to your camera. If you're going to take a picture from Orville Dam because it's raining, 
and because it's the cloudy, your camera or need to be covered because it's the rain, number one. Number two, your camera diaphragm automatically gonna choose the high diaphragm because it don't have enough light, it's cloudy. It's gonna be 3.5. It's gonna be 2.8 if you get later. But you come back to the Santa Monica, it's beautiful and so sunny. Your camera automatically is gonna choose 11, 12, 16. The number is not gonna be one, two, three, four, five on the diaphragm. There is a special number, you need to read it on the Google. It's called 1, 1.8, 2.8, 3.5, 3.6, some camera manuf manufactory. And then it's going to be 4, 4.6, 4.5, depending on the camera, each manufacturer made. That is so easy. There's a key on the lens, autofocus, you know that, automatically it's going to autofocus and manual focus, they focus everything by hand. Another one establish the around because you shake your hands, this technology helps you to keep the focus on the object. When you come to the body of the camera, camera works on the shutter speed. There is a camera in here and there is a sensor in the middle. The light comes from the lens over the sensor. If you don't have a shutter speed, you cannot have a good picture because the shutter speed decided how much light you need for the camera. For example, you open your window, you said, I need the air. If you open the window, continue, maybe too much wind, too much air come to the home, you don't like it. But you open the window 10 minutes, you close it, you get enough air in your home, like an air condition. Camera is the same. The camera asks the lens, I need, like a, for example, open for me five kilogram air I want it. He said, no problem, I give you five kilogram, I give you air enough. For example, we, took, we, we, we explained to you very easy. And you want to go shopping, I need a five kilo apple. And they said, no problem, I give it to you to the lens. And the camera decided how you're going to use the, this five kilogram apple. Use them once at the, all, at the time, they want to eat it all, this apple, at the same time. No, or they want to eat it one by one, or two by one. Depend on the camera. The shutter is a bit open and closed like this. By the timing as a second, and let the light come in. With the size of the lens. If the size of the lens is too much, the shutter is a bit decided to go open and close too fast. <laughs> because they don't want it too much light coming. But the, if the camera lens close too much, the light is a little bit calm, the lens go as slow, uh, the camera go as slow because they need uh, too much light. It's a poop, poop. This call by the second. One second is under, and one second is up. 1,000 per 400 seconds, 200 seconds, 1,100 seconds, 800. The same number is shutter speed. It's going to read it by the camera, by the timing. Your camera is going to be on off, normal camera. If you want to do a photography, always look at you find there like this, and don't use the screen, because the screen is not professional and you're shaking. If you want to take a picture, you got to remember there is a cam camera holding. It's going to be like a card on you. You play in your camera. You want to play something, one finger on the other side. At the same time, you turn your lens. At the same time, you kind of play with the key on the lens. At the same time, you hold it very professionally and strong. And this hand also is going to play like a music for you. My finger in the back, you're playing in all this key. And my other finger holding the shutter speed, shutter, and the other one also go playing with the root in the camera, this two. It's too fast photography. But SLR camera, this kind of camera is not a good for you, definitely. You need to buy the camera. The lens is attached to the body because you don't need to touch anything in the front. And camera usually go on the auto program or P as a program. They're going to take good pictures. 
The auto program, your flash is going to come automatically in any camera. If you don't like the flash come up, just put them on the P. On the P. If you have a up uh, on, the, on the camera, it said no flash also, you can put them on the no flash. The P program is not going to be too sensitive to run the flash. But when you go to the auto program, definitely the camera is going to be highest as sensitive as possible in any situation and they're going to pop off the flash for you. It doesn't matter if the flash pop up in any camera because all these cameras today they have a sensor and decided how much light you need it when they're flashing it in the not just close as a like a half a meters but for far as that there's no problem if the flash come off just it's your battery. If you look in the viewfinder your battery is going to be like a 50 times, 100 times more longer as to hey, open it and take pictures. Do not open this one until you want to see the photo after you take it. Another thing about camera they have here, he said, A as a aperture, S as a shutter, shutter, S, aperture. In the camera is a different, is a TV, is an AV, is an M as a manual, A plus dip. A dip in the, in the photography, which means you want to take a picture from the bird inside the trees because the camera, they have so many points of focus, like this, one, two, depend on the camera. So the new camera, they have a 100 right now. Each one is going to get focus in the one object in the front of the camera. When you get deep in field, it's going to be only one of these uh, points is going to focus where it's needed because you want to use the picture from inside of the, uh, for example, branch tree, uh, take a picture from the birds. We use the manual photography, we, we do the, such a, this technique, deep in field, and you don't need you know, this one too if you want to study, study from the internet. They give you what is me. The rest of the things you change your shutter speed and diaphragm by opening your camera and the camera they have uh, information like this and by holding the on the key in the front you see they want to change your shutter speed and actually a diaphragm. Which camera is different? Nikon, Canon, Sony. The question is what kind of camera is it good to buy? Any camera you want to buy, they have a very good quality pictures, I believe it. The Sony, they give me an Alpha 100 camera, it's called Alpha 100. It was the first camera made by Sony. They give me best quality, even better as Nikon 3200. After generation five years, Sony they are the better as a Nikon in the first camera. But when you come to the Nikon, another generation, you see they are like a D90. It was a master and very good camera. It was a popular. Now the new technology coming, D300 coming, 600, I don't know. They continue hey, changing it. But after all, you need a camera with the lens attached to the camera or even a tiny camera you need a good lens to focus on the something uh, otherwise you need to walk to the subject uh, with the lens attached to them I think this is a good camera it's not expensive depend on your budget you can buy the camera and when you come to the evening to do photography please use the tripod because your uh, hand is shaking and your shutter speed in the evening is go to a slow when you want to take a picture from the moon, you need to have a tripod. You need to have a, adjust your shutter speed. When you want to go to the, for example, evening, taking a picture from the sunset, you need to have a tripod, definitely. But if you're a good photographer, you don't need it. But for the personal photography for beginner, you need to have a tripod with you and play with your shutter speed. If you shot through the speed go faster, your sunset is going to get darker. If you, if you shot through the speed go too more slow, your sunset is going to be more bright. And other things, lock the shutter, which means 
the shutter is going to be open for almost maybe 10 seconds, 30 seconds. Another one, they're going to hold it by your shutter speed forever. As long as you shoot your finger over the shutter speed, the shutter speed is open. When the shutter speed is open, with the camera photographer put them on a tripod in the night especially, every light is passing in front of the camera, affected to the sensor, and you see very tiny light, beautiful everywhere in the light. You see them in the National Geography. This is a technique, we use them as a shutter speed. Yes, I give you very basic information about camera. If you have any question, please welcome to ask. There is a, so many key behind the camera. You need to look into your book because uh, a AV here, for example, uh, for the Canon, we are adjusting the brightness of the photo. And there is a delayed picture. There is a self timer, a single shot, continuous shot, auto focus, white balance. Um, Another one, all is focusing in then how many focus do you need in the camera and what kind of focus you need in your lenses to get the good pictures. You now the new technology, they have a 100 point focus on a new camera, which means you cannot miss anything detail on the photography. But those kind of camera is pretty expensive, almost like looks to me three to four thousand dollars. And uh, I think have a good day. Camera, camera. Oh, yeah, goes on, baby.